Hello people and welcome to this video. Today we're going to show you how how to optimize your internet connection. Did you know that Microsoft steals some of your bandwidth for system processes in Windows XP and doesn't even tell you? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. First of all, we're going to head on down to the custom start menu that I've made and click run. We're then going to want to type in GP, basically it's group edit dot msc and then we're going to want to press ok or enter. And then this will bring up the group, pol the group policy manager. Sorry, this is a bit slow for you guys, but it's running in a virtual machine. Virtual machines aren't normally this slow, but I've, I've got a lot of applications running and the screen recorded takes up quite a lot of CPU, so that's probably why. Here we have group policy. And what you're going to want to do is click the X next to the where it says administrative templates. Oh, this computer is so slow. Trust me, it's it's not it's not normally like this. You you've seen this the screencast that I've done, but I really don't know why it's so slow today, and it's really annoying me. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the video. Alright, now we're back. I can't believe it was that slow there. I actually had to pause the video to wait for it just to expand the folder. But there we go, that's, that's virtual machines for you. Um, and then on the right side here, after we've expanded administrative templates, we're just going to want to expand ne network. And and then we'll get this, and then we just want to click QoS Packet Scheduler. If you didn't know, QoS stands for Quality of Service. We're just going to click Packet Scheduler. Then we're going to want to pay attention to these two preferences: the limit um, reservable bandwidth and the limit outstanding packages. First of all, we're going to change the limit reservable bandwidth. Just double click it, and yours will be set to not configured there, but you need to set it to disabled I have mine optimized for performance and then you're gonna want to make sure the limit outstanding packages is disabled as well and you're basically gonna click that and again yours will be set to knock configured but you're just gonna set it to disc disabled thanks for watching this video i hope this has helped you um get more bandwidth back from windows xp the next thing you're gonna want to do is just close it and then restart your computer 
and then you'll be able to get the full benefit of your internet connection. I hope this video has helped you out and if, if you like my videos please subscribe and thanks again.